<laughs> the first traditional Balinese food item I'm about to eat today, I am so excited about. It's called Bobby Gulin, which is a whole roast pig. I smell something good. The first traditional food item I'm gonna try here in Bali is called Bobby Gooding. It was the number one most recommended dish from you guys, and it's something I absolutely adore. It's a roasted whole pig. And ever since I went to the Philippines, I had lechon. I've been thinking, I've been dreaming, I've been pining for roast pig. And this is a little different than the lechon I had in the Philippines. Actually, mostly because of the seasoning. In Indonesia, they use more coriander, turmeric. And right now, I'm here at Bobby Guling Seling Sing, and this place was not easy to to get to and uh, they told me this place is really a place that only the locals know about and right now it's about 5 30 they say around seven o'clock completely packed unfortunately when i got here the pig was already cut up so i didn't really get to see much of the cooking process which that was one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in the philippines you got some pork soup crackling pig skin you hear that that's a good sound you want all your pork skin to sound like that. There's also fried um, pork meat that you see frying over there. There's some uh, sambal and tender pork meat and fat here. Um, the soup, bunch of bones. This is really spicy. The pork is not the most tender, but you can taste the fire pit's flavor of the pig. It's very clean tasting. Also, the soup is really, really flavorful. There's tons of curry, different amount of spices in the pork. It's very good. I feel like this could even go really, really well with the rice. Yeah, it is really flavorful too. Let's get to the plate of pork here. Look at this. Just like in the Philippines, paper thin skin with just a little, little bit of fat right here. You see that? See every time I poke it a little bit, juice start flowing out. This is my favorite part of a pig. Here we go. Listen for the crunch. You hear that? Oh man. That's what I'm looking for. The crunch of the pig skin, and then right away, a burst of juice. Although this looks really thin, it doesn't look like there's that much juice in here. It's a lot of juice. Just a tiny little bite. Right away, beautiful pork fat just swarms your mouth. That is what I've been dreaming about since I left the Philippines. This pork skin, I don't feel like there's a lot of different amount of spices here. So I'm thinking the meat itself is gonna be much more flavorful than the skin. But this, this is like a wonderful porky chip. Let me just add a little bit of chili to this. Actually, I would recommend without the chili because it does kind of overwhelm the porky flavor a bit. Just the skin itself, concentrate on that. And this piece, look at this piece. This piece has nice, much thicker layer of fat on it. And you see just by my fingers grabbing this piece, the grease is all already seeping into my fingers. Oh, I love it when there's more fat. Oh man, they made blood sausage out of the pig. The inside is super fine and delicate. I don't love the sweet flavor. Um, of this thing, and this is the, the, the fried pork meat. I got a piece with the fat on there. Oh, that's good. Oh. I almost like that more than the pig skin. It's crispy, slightly crispy on the outside. Still got a little bit of fat on there to make it melty. Oh. Really nice, toasty pork flavor. Yeah, this, this and the pig skin, favorite bite so far. I gotta chase that with a little chili. For that piece, it's, it's pork and it's fat fried in oil. So although it's juicy, it is a bit oily. It definitely need a little spice. And the pork meat here, look how fine this is. It looks like extremely tender and juicy. That is a really juicy piece of pork. A really soft, juicy piece of pork. I mean, this plate, what I like about it, they really assemble different pieces of the pig. So you're gonna try a little variety. And this piece is it's probably gonna be even better. See that big old chunk of fat on there. Oh, that's better. 
just a personal preference for me. Anything with fat is always better. If you want to make one of the best pork sandwiches in the world, make it from this pork right here. Little pork, little toasted bun, some samba. This thing will make it into the sandwich hall of fame. But my favorite, just, just, and just. Crispy and juicy, crispy, chewy and juicy. Don't have to chew much. And this place is really interesting. Um, I, I didn't know about this place. A couple of local friends of mine recommended it. And it's definitely a trek getting here. And honestly, I don't know how it compares to other Bobby Gooling places around Bali. But so far, just based on those three pieces, this is a winner for me. But I will be trying other Bobby Gooling places. So this port tour, this ain't over yet. Tomorrow, hitting up location number two. So after I came here, I got a lot of recommendations from you guys, from local friends, and that's what I'm doing here in the district of Gyeongyar at this place. What on Bobby Guling Pande Egi. And they tell me that although it's not the most well-known place, it serves one of the best Bobby Guling here in Bali. And what I love about this place is that they serve it for breakfast. Yep, 9 a.m. Let's go eat some roast pig. I see something I like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a whole roast hog. A lot of the skin is taken off. What they do here is that um, they don't chop off everything from the pig like in the Philippines and then serve it directly. They kind of separate the meats. And it's usually separated into the tender lean meat, the crispy skin. Guys, I'm here with Dodo, the owner of this establishment. I'm really excited to be here. This is probably one of the unique sit-down um, Bobby Gully restaurants I've ever been to just because it's so scenic. Did you choose it specifically? Yes, for sure. I, I choose this place because I need something different from others Bobby Gully that we have in our area, but I try to make some very like a hide hidden place of Bobby Gooding, but the the best one in Kenya or something like that. Well, I heard really great things, and just to be able to eat later and, and have the view in front of me, I'm really looking forward to that. Now we're actually gonna go see your process and see how, see how this whole thing gets started, the whole pig roasting part, the really really sexy part. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is so exciting. So Dodo rolled on ahead in his motorcycle. I'm just catching up. This is just your house, right? Yes, this is my house. First of all, your house is beautiful. Thank you very much. And all the cooking is done here. All cooking is done here. What makes your pig unique than the other, all the other ones? All the pig that we process here is a black pig, something like that. They are wild. Wild yeah. pigs? Wild pigs. Okay. And that's make the skin very crispy uh -huh. than the white pig. That's really important, crispy skin. All right, let's go see how one is cooked. Yes. Oh. Oh my goodness. Really fire on, uh -huh. high heat, at least two hours to cook two one hour. pig. And this is the smaller pig. This smaller is a suckling one. pig. Suckling. And you have the bigger ones as the well. Bigger one. It's actually a different, I mean, depend on the somebody's order. Okay. The other bigger one, yeah. we made bigger one for yeah. them. And the turning process mm -hmm. is not just like turning. You need to control the fire. Everything is done here. Pig is brought here, it's slaughtered here, it's cooked here, yes. and it's brought right to your table, yes. and you're ready to eat it. All right, Dodo, you have yes. no idea how hungry I am after hearing you describe all that and seeing everything. So we're gonna go back to the restaurant, Certainly. and we're gonna eat It'll something. Nice. All right, let's, go. let's do it. I am anticipating, um, just, just waiting to try that pig after seeing it getting roasted and you telling me about it. So this is kind of inter interesting. We have a coconut, and we have, what is this? It's a simple syrup, sugar, and lime for extra refreshment for with the oh, coconut. Oh, you put it into the coconut? Yes. Oh, no way. That cold coconut. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Cheers, my friend. Okay, <laughs> cheers. So what are we uh, What are we having today? So today we're gonna have a Bobby Goolings, mm -hmm. for sure, with a complete dish. Yeah. We got a satay for mm -hmm. extra. We have the skin, the meat, mm -hmm. and the mix of the Bobby Gooling dish. The Bobby Gooling. Yes. And is that a very traditional set? Very traditional set. Let's get the pork, waiting for the pork. So excited to eat pork in Bali. All the piggy dishes are here. Uh, this is the supreme. Yes, this is the supreme one. And I see a lot of, uh, this is very much Indonesian um, layout. So you got sambal. The, this one is the stuffing sambal and this one the chili sambal. And just want to show you guys, look at this. You hear the, you hear that? That's the sound of a crispy pig skin. And I love that, see all this fat? I love this. Yes. I love that crunch. Crunch and the... Uh, oh, oh, it's the best. It, it's, it's literally, it's a ticket to pig Euphoria. All right, so what do you usually eat first? Uh, usually, we eat 
the meat first. They are all the people in Bali love to eat the skin after the Nature. last one. Really? Yes. I usually go because for it first. it's just like you are waiting for the best one for the last. Because you, if you eat that first, you will lose the star of the your meal, right? You know what? I, I love saving the, the best for last. I totally accept that philosophy. But you brought me extra skin this time. Yes, you so might start whenever you want. I gotta taste the skin now. <laughs> and, and this is a recipe that you learned from your grandfather? Yes, this is a great, great grandfather doing all the best. Family recipe is the best. And I never had a soup like this before. So yes. this is... It's made from the ribs. That's tender. That it is... cook on the firewood, not oh. on the stove. I gotta taste the pork skin. And you see on this, bits of garlic and onions already. You see the spices on top of the pig skin. And again, that beautiful layer of fat right underneath. And of course, you get that beautiful, beautiful porky juice. Mm. You guys heard that, right? Oh my gosh. There's something extra smoky. Yes. About the skin here. Yeah. It is crispier. It's got that beautiful firewood smoky flavor and you have some pieces that's a little less fatty. It's like eating a porky chip. This is from the smaller black pig. Yeah. That skin, there's a big difference in that skin. And there's crispy parts in here as well. Was it, is this a year? Uh, what we call is this the um, it's tomato oh, intestine, right? Intestine? Yes. You got the, the fried intestine. Fried intestine, crispy intestine. Oh, no. oh man. Anything that starts off crispy and it melts in your mouth, I'm a big fan of the lawar. That's spicy. I like that. A nice crispy beans. I've been eyeing this because this looks so juicy. You got the little fatty pieces of meat um, with the lean meat as well. Bobby Guling, you cook it roast and slowly, mm -hmm. make the meat always very juicy. Oh, yeah, it's glistening. It's the juice is falling off the meat. Oh my God. I almost like that more than the skin. More than I skin. almost like that more than yeah. the skin. That is so flavorful. so flavorful, for sure. I gotta try some of the pork with the samba. Oh, I got chip and dip. This is the best chip and dip ever. That is so juicy. The samba is, I'm so glad this country, you guys put samba on everything. Because the pork, it, because it is so fatty, you need some of that spice. That's a lot of heat there. And this is different types of samba. Yeah. This one less spicy. This one less this spicy. This one is just fresh chili. They make the extra extra spicy. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna like I'm gonna put a piece of skin and then put some sambal and then put a piece of fat on there, and this will be my little porky sambal sandwich. It's so good. You're a mad hog genius, my friend. You need the rice too. That's a perfect compliment to the pork. Shate. Yes. And this one is the cooked liver. This is and cooked liver. Wrap, wrap in the meat. I love this. It's really meaty, which is slight hints of organ flavor from the liver. Because I love liver. And that sambal sauce, perfect complement to it. I, I'm really excited about the tender. The, um, when I'm 80, I don't have any more teeth. Yeah. You better still be open so I can come here because I don't need teeth to eat this. You don't need it. I don't, I don't need it's it. This is like melt in your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's melting. It's doing something magical. I mean, you guys could see how usually the, the, the piece of meats just kind of come off the bones. I mean, I took the big bites of the meat off already. And it's so good because I get to suck on the bones of this, uh, of this rib. You know what could make this even better? A little samba in this thing. This is a magical, magical moment right here. This is all fat here, all fat. Like, I love, you guys might not like it, I love chunks of fat. And see this? Mostly fat, like maybe 70% fat, 20%, I mean 30% lean meat. I can't do math, I'm sorry. Oh, you see how tender? Look at this, look at this meat. You guys see the juice coming out of this? This is the one I love almost just as much as the skin because flavoring wise, you cannot beat this. I love the way you eat the crispy skin before. Uh -huh. This is layer skin, like meat, that? spicy. It just triple oh, sensation, yeah. right? Yeah, you 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 big mac it, you know, like layer it on. That's what I like to do. Everything on here from the crispy skin, so you can definitely taste all the spices in the meat, especially this part and the smokiness that comes from the wood. You did a good job, my friend. Thank you. We try the sausages. This is the blood sausage. That's a very unique blood sausage. The inside is like a almost like a puree. It's very very soft. It's just flour inside. Right? Flour. It tastes a little bit of that blood, not too much. And this is the intestine with egg. Egg. 
some by his wife soon. Yes, it'll be much better. Oh, oh I like that. Huh? Oh, I really like that. It's kind of crispy almost because of the intestine, the stomach, stomach lining. There's an egg. Man, everything we had today is so amazing. Thank you so much for showing me around. Yes, for sure. It was eye-opening experience just to, you know, hang out with you over at the at, the, at your home. Yes. With all that bunch of firewood and the fire and the pigs and roasting everything. Such a great time and such delicious food. And so if you guys uh, want some of the best Bobby Gulen you can find around Bali, definitely look this guy up with the information for this place. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, you got good food. I got to tell people about it. The information for this place is located in my description box below. Uh, so this is a little drive out of the city a little bit, but it's beautiful. For sure. It's scenic and literally, we're sitting here in, in just an open area and we're staring out into a field with just cool air all around us. In the morning, eating real bacon. This is what bacon looks should look like in the morning, like just this. You can't get any better than that. This is one of the best breakfasts you will ever have. Yes. So, and I appreciate you, my friend, for thank you very much. providing all this for me. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely come get this, all right? Check it out. Come come get it. It's, it's really good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later. Bye.